What up, geeks? I'm going live. I'm going live solo. Sean's not here yet. Um, maybe he'll join us. Maybe he won't, but that's okay. I figured I'd go over the comics I picked up this week, talk about uh, some of the hot books coming out. And I'm, I'm going to focus on the Hawkeye series, uh, especially with the new trailer that came out. Uh, talking about some books that are, you know, in, in the spec realm, some books you could probably find now cheap and some books that are not so cheap. So if anybody's out there listening, if anybody's curious, you, you want to drop some comments, drop, you know, let us know what you picked up, you know, let, let me know. And uh, what I'm going to go through right now is I'm just going to talk about some of my pickups from the week. Um, I didn't pick up any new books this week. I didn't make it to the comic shop today, but I did make it uh, last weekend. Uh, to the shop so i did pick up some uh some comics that uh, i was really interested in, in the covers and some of my speculation books so i just wanted to you know it was one sean picked up last week that we talked about and it's the masters of the universe revelation 404 i just love the the cover on this one i love the artwork um i really like this series i don't care what most people are saying i think this is an awesome series um Joe, uh, Joe, uh, I've been snapped by Thanos. I'm half of what I used to be. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate that. Uh, you know, trying to trying to look good. I, you know, it's hard for me to compete. You know, with Sean and Steve. You know, they they always look so beautiful. So it's you know, I gotta gotta keep up with them. Um, thanks, Brian. That is a great cover, of Master of the Universe. Um, I also picked up another copy of House of Slaughter number one. I found the foil cover of the number one i just picked it up it was it was retail you know so i just figured you know what get the foil cover why not it's uh it's not a bad book to have uh this book i picked up just because i liked the cover i thought it was really cool um you know marvel oh, rebooted the amazing fantasy series um you know and this one i liked because it was a kind of a classic captain america cover you know with that big premiere issue little uh what do you call it uh I don't know starburst i think that's what they, that's what you call it you know with cap right there on the cover i thought that was a really cool one i'm turning them a little sideways so you don't get a glare from my light so hopefully you guys can see that one up uh brian you picked this one up too awesome yeah i, I love this one and then i found number two as well another variant uh cover number two with spider-man which i thought this was a really cool one to have um so wanted to kind of go through these Thought this was uh, this is cool. Um, I also picked up the Marvel Voices uh, Identity Number One, and it's got the uh, the Asian team on there with Silk and Shang Chi, um, <clears throat> Ms. Marvel. Uh, you know, it's a really cool cover. I thought you know it's just something to have again. You know, especially with these movies coming out and being hot. Who knows if Marvel does a different team up group? You know, there's. There's a bunch of different teams out there that Marvel can put together. And one that we've kind of seen parts of this team already. And I found a you know, number one issue is the newer number one, but the Winter Guard number one. And if you guys don't know, some of the Winter Guard members, the original Winter Guard members were in Black Widow. Um, so definitely, you know, again, it's a cheap spec book. Nothing ever happens to it. It's just a good book to have in the in the collection. And I thought, hey, why not? Why not pick that one up? Uh, some vintage books I picked up. Um, again, this one, this one I got for a buck in the dollar bin, and it's it's mint. There's not one thing wrong with it, and it's uh, Avengers 277. I just li really like the cover where you see all the Avengers down, but you see Zemo and Cap still battling it out and all the rubble. Thought that was a really cool cover. There's nothing really special with this one. Again, just a dollar bin pickup to kind of continue the Avengers run. Um. Another one I picked up that I thought was kind of cool. It's a little, it's a little dirtier, a little beat up, but it was only like five bucks. Uh, amazing! And anytime you can find an Amazing Spider-Man below two hundred, I'd pick it up if it's cheap. Amazing Spider-Man one hundred nine. It's Enter Doctor Strange. I like the yellow backdrop. Uh, again, Spider-Man Doctor Strange crossover, especially because we're getting, you know, No Way Home. Thought it'd be a nice pickup again for five bucks. It wasn't one I had in my Spider-Man run. Uh, at this point, so 109. So not bad for five bucks. Uh, and again, and I'm always looking for number ones if I can find them. It doesn't matter. Um, and I picked up Dazzler number one. I think this came out in 81. You know, another 
Marvel, you know, mutant that could appear at some point. You know, there's always rumors for Dazzler to show up. It was a really nice copy. And again, this was, I got this one for five bucks too. So I like the cover, you know, looks, you know, like it's a, like a painting. And then you got Iron Man, Spider-Man, um, uh, Nightcrawler, and uh, uh, Enchantress on there. So I thought it was a really cool cover. So again, another one, another number one. So I, I think it's a great one. Uh, yeah, Taylor, it's a really great cover. Dazzler number one, still a classic cover. I agree, Joe. And the other one I picked up that I that I saw, and I was just like, you know what, I got to get this because it's uh, it came in came on eighty seven, and I just like the cover again, some of that like late eighties, early nineties art, but it's Silver Surfer number one, and you got Silver Surfer, you know, with Nova and then Galactus. You know, taking up basically the whole background. You got the Fantastic Four at that point, the Fantastic Four minus Johnny because it was She Hulk at the time. So, Silver Surfer number one. I thought it was a ni nice book to pick up again, another five dollar book. I keep picking up, you know, if, you, if you're seeing and you know, you're going to your LCS is just, you know, cheaper number ones. You know, I know this isn't Silver Surfer's first series, I think it's his second ongoing series. Um, it's not one of his keys, but again, number ones are always good to pick up, especially if something does happen with the character. Those books people always want. And that brings me to talking about kind of uh, the Hawkeye series. You know, I figured, you know, with that being the next, I know Eternals comes out next week, and there's a lot of Eternals books that are kind of specking on but i don't want to really go through spoilers on it because a lot of that is leaked so i didn't want to kind of get into the detail on the spoilers but i'm going to share my screen uh we'll go through some key collector spec talking about the hawkeye series and hopefully this works uh on my own so let me see here i'm going to share um let's see here what it, as long as it doesn't go into like some crazy um mode here Let's see how it how it looks here. Oh, there you go. See, see that? Look at that. Technology at its finest. So um, Hawkeye number one, Kate Bishop, her first solo book. Um, this one is still out there. You could still find this one. I picked mine up for about, uh, I picked mine up, I think it was for 10 or 15. I'm seeing it at LCSs for about 20. Definitely find this one in high grade. It's a newer book, 9.8 for this one. Um, I, I think this is a, a real good book to have, um, especially with the series coming out, especially with the push for Kate Bishop. I think we're going to see a lot of her. So uh, Steve wants to know where the hell is Sean? I don't know, Steve. You're on the text feed. Sean hasn't responded. He just ghosted me. Showed me a bunch of comic books he picked up today and then ghosted me. So we'll see. Uh, the next book here, again, I don't understand why this one is picking up spec for this series. A lot of people are anticipating the Kingpin rumored for this series. I don't know if they're doing that. It seems like this series is over, overstuffed. There's a lot going on. Um, uh, you're, you're right, Steve. The check didn't clear. I mean, it must have not cleared. It's probably why he didn't buy any real expensive books. He was buying some reprints today. Uh, checked in clear. So, guys, we really need uh, help on Patreon to pay for Sean. Um, that Bitcoin he's been selling on uh, on Instagram hasn't been working for him. Uh, but Amazing Spider-Man number 50, it's an iconic book. I think it's one of the top, to me, one of the top five Amazing Spider-Man comic books you can find. It is the first appearance of Kingpin, but it's also the Spider-Man No More cover. It's one of, to me, the top five most iconic covers in this run. Uh, I love this book. It's a book I've always wanted. And a, a 2.0, literally somebody who treated it like toilet paper, it sold for $480. So, I mean, I guarantee you can find some some trash versions of it and, and still make some money on it. So, or keep it for yourself. Like that's what I would do if I found a, a bad version is again, keep it for myself. So, um, New Avengers number 11, first appearance of Maya Lopez is Ronan, formerly Echo. Uh, Echo is confirmed in the series, so we're going to see Echo in this. Also, 
I believe we do see in the trailer Kate Bishop in a Ronin suit. So, you know, the, the Ronin suit still making an appearance, still uh, still relevant to this series. So I think that's a, um, a cheap book you could pick up that might go up. Again, it's a cheap spec book to definitely look into. Um, next book, again, Avengers. Well, let's look at the variant for this one. I'm curious if there is. Is it just a barcode variant? Yep, just the barcode variant. So direct edition was $25, newsstand $85. That's a big, big, big difference for, for a newsstand edition. But we know at that point, you know, in the 2000s, early 2000s, newsstand wasn't really selling much anymore. So if you find newsstand editions, definitely pick them up. Uh, Avengers number 19, it, I think it's a, a pretty good book. Um, high value at 420, mid grade about 135. The first appearance of the Swordsman. Uh, he is also confirmed to be in the Hawkeye series, played by Tony Dalton. Swordsman um, has history with Hawkeye. I don't know if they're going to go down the the same type of history, you know, that with with, with Hawkeye, but maybe they will. I wonder if we're going to get, you know, Hawkeye as a bad guy, Hawkeye and the carnival kind of, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, it'd be very interesting if they did that, if, if we got an episode, it's only a six part series. So I don't know how, how deep they're going to go. Uh, because my, my theory is it's going to be more so setting up Kate Bishop. Um, then it's daredevil number nine. Again, we talked about echo earlier. This is the, her first appearance, uh, of echo. She is a highly skilled martial artist who is deaf. Um, looks like she is in this series. So this is again, a definitely a hot book. If you could find it, if you have it already in your collection, I know a lot of people were collecting a lot of daredevil in this run. So that, that is a good one to have. Uh, this, this used to be a book going for nothing now. I mean, 165 bucks, you could probably find a CGC 9.8 for around two, two to $300. And that's, that's where I would go with this. Definitely. Um, then we get in humans number five. Uh, again, this book has been hot for a while because it's the first appearance of Yelena Belova. Um, and of course we know she's going to be in the Hawkeye series. Uh, she first appeared in black widow and we know at the end, the teaser spoiler, um, they're, they're sending her out for Hawkeye blaming the death of black, uh, of black widow on her. So we'll see how that plays out. That'd be very interesting. Um, Hawkeye number nine, uh, it's the first cameo appearance of the clown. Um, we see some characters in the trailers that fit the appearance of, of some of the clowns kind of minions, people that work for them and part of this story arc. So I think that this is gotten for 25 bucks. It's, it's a good shot to take. So I definitely say take that shot with, uh, with picking this book up and it's a really cool cover. I really think this cover is a really cool cover. I don't know if you guys agree with me, but I think this is a really cool cover to have. Uh, then we got Hawkeye number seven, uh, the first Bishop, uh, uh, the first Bishop, first appearance of Eleanor Bishop, Kate Bishop's mother. Um, it's a, uh, it's another thing. And Hey, guess what? Sean's calling me live right now. So, uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what, what he's, what he's going to, tell me but he might be running late i don't know but he's calling but i'm i'm live so I, I can't pick up the phone live that'd be rude to you guys um what do we got next we got um daredevil number 10 another appearance of echo another again decent book uh hawkeye number 11 lucky the pizza dog which we've seen in the um uh, we saw the pizza dog in the i think it was the the latest like poster um, or art that, that that they did, so that that would be an interesting one. Here's another one to pick up because this is it, it's weird to have this one. Um, and Sean said he got distracted, so I'm telling him to jump on now because I'm I'm already doing this. And you know, we, Sean can add another layer to this. Um, this is an interesting one too because this is the first cover appearance of both uh, Hawkeye and Kate Bishop. Um, so definitely for 12 bucks, pick this thing up. It can't hurt. Can't hurt. The big book here, Young Avengers number one, if you could find this one. There's a bunch of different variants for Young Avengers number one. 
Um, you've got the uh, there, there's a reprint for 80 bucks. You've got um, the there's sketch variants. There's a Wizard World variant. Um, <laughs> Joe, uh, Joe, Joe said Sean is calling to tell me that every book I bought, he also got, but then at a CGC 9.8. So that is hilarious. And you're probably right. Cause I guarantee he's going to come up on here and just throw a bunch of books at me that, uh, you know, that I'll, I'll never, I, I would never pay for Cause you know, n- nobody's, nobody here is a one percenter like Sean. Uh, but any of these young Avengers books are hot. They were all low print runs. So definitely if you can find one, if you have one, you are lucky because this is a book I've been hunting for, for a while. And it's hard to find uh, a book. I do have, uh, Young Avengers number six. This one, first appearance of Cassie Lang as Stasher, debut of uh, Kate Bishop in her Hawkeye costume. Um, so I think this is a, a good book to have. A book I think you could find less than 60 bucks. I I bought it for 10, and I think you could definitely buy this one for less than that. Um, Young Avengers number 12. This is the first time she gets the name of Hawkeye by Jessica Jones. Um, so that's another a cool book to have again the young avengers books uh, i would pick up any ones you find one through 15. at this point they're setting their these characters up i would definitely pick them up um and then we can keep going through here real quick um you know the young avengers presents hawkeye they did a lot of these young avengers presents books to introduce you to the characters so i would pick up all those you can find these to me i found a lot of these in dollar bins so definitely look through if you have like a half price books. Um, I think on the East Coast, Second and Charles, things like that, that does a lot of resell. A lot of these books, they I guarantee they didn't catch and they're still marked that way. Uh, Hawkeye number one, the Matt Fraction series. Um, this is the series that it looks like a lot of this is initially based upon. Um, it says first uh, appearance of the tracksuit mafia, which we do see in the trailer. First appearance of Lucky the Pizza Dog. So definitely look at that. Um, Hawkeye number two, the first team up of uh, Clint, um, Barton, and Kate Bishop. So that's that's another one definitely to pick up. This one's got a couple of variants here too. Let's see. I'm curious on the variant looks. I like this one with all purple. I think this is probably my favorite one. It's the third printing. And it's the most expensive. Only at 25 bucks. But I think that one's really cool. Probably hard to find in a high grade since it's all one color. Because if you have one color breaking spine tick, you're going to be knocked down a couple of grades on that. Uh, Hawkeye number one had a bunch of variants too. Looking here to see here. Uh, I do not like this Adi Granoff cover. It's just not my... That is not my bag. I don't know if you guys... Do you guys like this Adi, Adi Granoff cover? I, I'm not a fan. I think he did some good work with Iron Man. That's not my... I don't know. Again, another all purple print. I like that a lot. I think that's a really cool one. Um, Hawkeye variant celebrating Spider Man. That's a weird one. Okay, and a few others the same, just different kind of color splashes with that with with Hawkeye there in the background. So to me, if, if you find these purple ones, these are the ones I would go for. Uh, I think these these uh, third prints and they seem to be the most expensive um, are, are pretty nice. Uh, Tales of, of Suspense, number 57, the first appearance of Hawkeye. Of course, that's a big book. Uh, Avengers 27, first appearance of, of Ronan, later to be revealed as uh, Clint Barton. And uh, I think we'll call it at that. There's a lot of other, I mean, look at all these keys you can go through. There's a lot here. So if you're looking at the Hawkeye series coming up, if you're looking for a quick flip, I definitely think some of those books are to look into getting... And, uh, and 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 here, Sean. I'm gonna add, add Sean to this. <laughs> yeah. oh, God, Yo, I'm on my phone right now. So you, I got over to my computer. We can't hear you. You're added to the stream. I think you're on your. Can you hear me? Nobody can, can hear me. Got a big light in your face. Look at this guy. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop sharing my screen so uh, so we can go. Hold on. Hold on. Mode. And uh, see what this see what see see what he's talking about. <laughs> What are you doing, Sean? Yo, hold on. Uh, now, now he's telling me to hold on. So, uh, but anybody out there, if uh, 
Anybody else got any pickups this week? I know Taylor, uh, you, you messaged me some of some big pickups you got this week. Some nice books. I don't know if you're still on. Um, Brian, you said you picked up that Masters. If you picked up any other Masters Universe books, let me let me know. Oh, uh, Steve just said the check just cleared, so Sean was able to join. I mean, that's that's what it is. It's it's tough. Sh Sean, it looks like a proof of life video. <laughs> <laughs> because that big light behind his head i know <laughs> that's too damn funny too funny you know what we're waiting for him to get set up i'm gonna i'm gonna share my screen he, now he dropped off i'm gonna share my screen again and uh let, let's let's look let's let, let's pick up a few here i want to i want to talk about the, the hot 10 we already talked about um amazing 50 which is again in the hot 10. I mean, a 5.5 sold for $1,600 uh, just this week. So that's that's crazy. And uh, here, I'm going to add Sean now. Can, <laughs> is he here yet? You hear me? Still can't hear him. Still has, still doesn't have his mic set up. Yeah, my mic is set up. No, nope, still, still not there. That's weird. Fantastic Four, number 13, another hot book. Uh, yeah. Number nine on the list. You hear me now? Uh, record breaker 6.0 sold for 1300 dollars first appearance of the watcher yo can you hear me so that's that's, me? that's a nice book I have number eight on the list shock suspense story is number six interesting that you know that's something that we were talking about because DC is doing a lot of horror books lately Weird. and I wonder if um hello can you hear me if uh, the Ten Rings has Sean captive, <laughs> yo, it's not that. It's I can't. My mic ain't working. No, no, nobody can hear you, Sean. I don't know. I don't know. He's holding his hands up. Can't can't get it going. My so I, I do wonder if the shocks uh, suspense stories is up on this list because because people are really going and buying a lot of these horror books. These classic horror books are are really doing doing some uh, some moving lately. Uh, Iron Man number 55. Again, this has been on the list a few times, but again, it's the first appearance of Thanos. Uh, you know, talking about the Deviants, first cameo per, uh, appearance of uh, Eros. Star Fox, who is Thanos' brother, who will be in a cameo in Eternals. So, now, again, a little bit of Eternals hype. Now, can you hear me? No, can't Yo, hear me. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with my mic. Did you, no, you, have your, you have your mic settings on. Yeah, you can hear me though. I can hear you. Do, do you have power to your mic? You see the red button on. Yeah. Oh. That's one wonderful live shows. So this is eh, what you get. You get a, a, yeah, amateur hour, but that's all right. Try to say who said amateur hour. Um, number six on the list: Batman one twenty one, the first appearance and origin of Mister Freeze. Yo. My mic is fucked a up. Seven point oh sold for ten thousand dollars. A one point five sold for eleven hundred dollars. I want to pull this cover up. Look at this cover. Look at that. Look at that Mister Freeze costume. Look at that. Steve said purple Steve said, or Steve pinkish said he can hear me a little. and green. A little. Steve said he can hear me. That is not Arnold Schwarzenegger. That is that is a pretty nice cover. I actually yeah. I think that's pretty. I like that costume. Does I he got me time? Funny. Does he got I wanna, me too? I would, I, I'd like a toy like that. <laughs> I still can't. I still can't hear you, Sean. You can't hear, but everybody uh, else can hear. Turning into Mystery Eighty Three. That's been on the list a lot. Oh, I'm the only one who can't hear Sean. Others can hear Sean. Yeah. Yes. That's so weird. I don't know why I can't hear you, Sean. It's I mean, your settings. Your settings. <laughs> I'm gonna remove you and then I add you back in. Now can you hear me? No, nope, that didn't help. The host has muted your mic. You muted my mic, man. It's so weird. I don't know. I can't hear Sean. But everybody can hear me. Everybody can hear you. You muted my mic. I don't think I muted your mic. Now it says muted mic, unmute mic. Now it's, now it's just me by myself. You still can't hear me. It's so weird. 
And then Sean dropped out again. So hopefully maybe maybe him coming back in will we'll bring him in. But again, Journey of Mystery, number uh number 83. Of course, we know that's a big one. The first appearance of Thor, first appearance of Mjolnir. This one had some big big sales coming up recently. So I mean this one's always on the list. Now Steve's calling me. Hello, Steven. That's so weird to me, but look. Can you hear me now? Wow. I, I appreciate that, Steve. Steve's saying, uh, let's see, edit mic settings, echo, cancellation. The hell? <laughs> All right. I, I, I appreciate it. I'll, I'll I'll keep working on trying to fix this. So. Yeah, I mean, you know, no worries, Lil. You can't right. hear me. You can't hear me. But, I, I don't know, Sean. Can you hear me now? I apologize. I apologize to everyone out there listening. I guess you guys could hear Sean, but... Um, you know what, Sean? Why don't you just tell everybody the books you picked up? Uh, so, it's weird not, not talking to you, though, man. <laughs> this is weird. But... Anyway, so honestly, I got a bunch of books this week, but you know, I did get um Magic Order issue two. Uh, this was a variant copy. Um, Magic Order, a little if you can see it. Uh, really good book. Uh, the first run, the first run of this was good, very fun. Um, got a few Star Wars books this week. Uh, let's see, I got um three star wars books uh variant issues uh one of the rebels issue of this one i like that cover a lot yeah cool cover can you hear me still can't hear me that's all you know though um cool cover with these two dudes on the front thawne and um the Inca inquisitor and then i got uh Roomba. from the uh, the action figure collection which i have all the all those Covers. Uh, Batman, Superman have not read yet, um, but I do love the cover. If you can take a look at the cover there, very very well done. Love the Batmobile. I mean, I love the uh, the Batwing, and then Superman on top, which is dope. Really great comic, Heathens, uh, issue one. It is about uh, it's about different characters from time. Um, Billy the Kid, um, uh, let's see, who is it, Bumpy Johnson, um, and a other few characters from time, and uh, very, very good book, definitely highly recommended, The Heathens, uh, they're, they're taking on other characters like Jack the Ripper, um, they're going against, uh, well, in the book, they're going against other characters as well, but... The overall overall premise of it, man, it's like uh, they're taking out Saddam Hussein, Rasputin, um, uh, Jeffrey Dahmer, Hitler, John Wayne Gacy. So they've went back in time and they've uh, or in the future, and uh, they've killed all these characters. Really great book, Heathens issue one, highly recommended. Definitely get it. Um. This was a terrible book. It's called My Bad. It's about a bunch of other superheroes. It's crap. Don't get it. <laughs> Garbage. Uh, Batman Adventures. It's okay. It's you know getting kind of every day now, so I don't even worry about it. Dope comic. Definitely highly recommended. Uh, this one is DC Presents Soul Plumbers. This is issue two. Really great artwork. Fun read. Highly recommended. This is from that DC horror label that they just started. Definitely recommended. Uh, pick it up. Lil, can you hear me? I can hear you. Yeah, you got an echo now. Yeah, you hear me now? I can hear you. Yeah, I'm hearing an echo. Too. Oh, I heard an echo at first. Uh, hold on for a second. So I got you coming to my computer speakers. Weird. Why is what what happened? No idea. No idea. Internal. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yeah. You still got an echo? A little bit. How about now? Yeah, we're good. All right. 
Um, well, what I was telling what I was telling everybody earlier, I, I, what I highly recommend you get picking up a little if you get a chance to get shoot to the combos. Did you get a combos this week? I didn't get any of the new books this week. I'm gonna okay. go. I didn't get to that, get a chance. I Fun had to get my booster, and that took forever. So okay. I got my Heathens issue one. Definitely highly recommend it. It's a really good book. It's about other characters in time. Um, going going to kill other villains. In the present, in the future, like John Wayne Gacy, Adolf Hitler, oh, um, funny. yeah, and now they're taking on Jack the Ripper, so definitely dope, definitely dope. Uh, Batman Adventures, same one, just a different cover. Uh, this is like the Harley Quinn backer, you know, what I mean, um, and shit like that. Uh, Newborn issue one, it's just really this is just really a basic comic. It, look, it seems like to me they're gonna make this into a TV show, so I picked it up. Uh, it's about a detective who's you know just trying to solve cases and shit. Um, it's really cool. It was a, it was an okay read. I, I read through it really quick. Um, Justice League Infinity. Uh, if you like Justice League uh, Unlimited, then you'll definitely probably like uh, Justice League Infinity. Really really fun if you want to like it. If you want to get to it, but uh, I picked up some extra books this week a little. But I want to tell you, I highly, highly, highly recommend this book this week. I highly recommend getting Steel, Dark Knight of Steel. Uh, this is this this new. Um, it's more of a like night knights knights DC characters Elseworld kind of style. But man, this was a fun read. This was if if Jorel. Um, uh, Superman's mother landed on Earth together, and they had Superman at the same time when when they landed. Yo, great fucking read! Very very fun. This is a variant cover, but highly recommended. I'm in for the. This is the first issue, but yo, that last the last page was like, oh shit! Yo, every character is in it. Um. Very, very fun read. Highly recommended. Definitely pick this up. If you can get a chance to check the read out, get it. Um, I got I got some old uh old books, some new books this week, just to kind of have you know for the collection a little. Um, I picked up uh, a few books I showed you earlier, you know, one of them or a couple of them actually. One of them I got in my box. But you know, staying staying with the course of that Joe Jusco run a little. I did get the New York Comic Con issue, the Joe Jusco New York Comic Con. I'm jealous because I, I like that cover. I love that cover. So he did have a couple extra ones. So do you want me to try to get you one? How much? How much do you want for? He wanted about thirty or forty bucks. I could talk him down. I might be able to get it for a little bit less. Yeah, for twenty, I'll, I'll pull the trigger on twenty. I'll just pull the trigger for you anyway. Shut up. Yeah, just, just you know. Yeah. Uh, Stitcher, yeah. Stitcher picked that one up also. The Just Go one. Yeah. It's a good cover. It's a really cool cover. It's a nice it's, cover. Yeah, especially if you're getting the Just Go stuff. I did. I found a couple uh, Web of Spider Man a little. Like the cover. Hey, you know what? I, I I'm thinking of going for the run. There's a few. There's a few hot books in that one. I think one nineteen is one eighteen or one nineteen. Oh, okay. The first uh, Scarlet Spider. Yeah, that one's expensive, but I mean, I already have number one, and then uh, up until that one, you can find all of them pretty, pretty decently priced, five to ten bucks. Found a reprint of you know one of your you know one one of our favorite covers. I would say it's my favorite cover too if I could get it ever get it. But uh, this is Marvel Tales starring Spider Man. Really cool cover though. I love it. Yeah. It was a cool cover. I can pass it. I was like, oh man, it was only but five bucks. I was like, I'll take it. Cool cover. Um you know, a lot of those Marvel Tales books too have uh Todd McFarlane covers. Yeah. In a run. Like McFarlane did those covers, but while he was doing some of the Spider Man books. Mm -hmm. And just the covers alone, because they're just reprints of old Spider Man stories. Hmm. For the most part. And but he did some awesome cover work on those. So definitely look for those if you see them in the bins because You'll find them. You'll find those cheap. Uh, I found a book that I actually used to like, and the cartoon I used to like is Big Guy and the Rusty and Rusty the Robot Boy. Um, this is like an anthology book of Dark Horse Presents. Really fun. I love. I, I love this cartoon. You know, on Fox, it used to come on. 
So I really liked it. Picked up the cartoons, the first volume of it. It's an anthology of a bunch of other stories, yeah. too. Um, I picked up Battle of the Planets, uh, issue one. This was a wizard book, a little. Oh, it's the wizard. It's a it's the it's, it's a issue one half. It's the wizard one half. I've got a yeah. Spider Man like that too. Yeah, and it comes um, with a certificate of authenticity. <laughs> yeah, I remember. Really cool. I won mine. I won mine at Wizard World spinning the wheel and uh -huh. answering a Spider Man trivia question back in. I think it was my first ever con that me and Jenny went to. Oh wow! I'm so excited to win, and it was like a, the cover was it's Spider Man, Spider Man twenty ninety nine. I think it's Scarlet Spider. I think it was like the three of them, like swinging across. And a couple of my favorites this week. You know I'm a sneakerhead, and I got uh, one of those amazing Spider Man sneaker uh, books. I almost ordered one online to send to you because I was going to send it to you as a gift because I saw it and I'm like, I don't know if you're going to find it because I knew it was like a store exclusive. Yeah. So it wasn't getting out there. And I'm like, I might have to order this. But the orders didn't go up yet by the time I went on there. And then you, I was going to look again today. And then you sent the picture. And I'm like, well, you you, you got it. So. <laughs> really dope. I love sneakers. So I think I went the Miles Morales version of it. I think I'm going to try to get that one as well. That's that one too, yeah. So that was dope. A, I think they have a Venom version coming out too. Oh, they do? They oh. might. I think that there might be a black and white one with Venom. Yeah. Um, so again, my favorite book of the week that I picked up was was the Steel Batman best read of the week, a little probably best of the read of the in a while. Um, definitely highly recommend if you guys are out there getting books, definitely get that new Steel uh version comics. And my pickup of the week for me is Thundercast issue one. Ah, you bastard, I know it. <laughs> you, do you know if that's the first printing? Uh, uh, first printing, second printing are the same. This may be second printing. You can only tell by the inside. Yeah, I gotta look. I didn't open it up and look at it. Um, I don't even know if I can. How can you even tell? Like, it's I think it's not in on, on the byline. It's not in perfect condition, so it's an okay condition. I don't care. I just wanted it. Yeah, yeah. I don't care. Yeah. Uh, let's you see. Get to put it by the Thundercats figures. Put it on the eighty shelf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Um, let's see. They are naked in this. Which is disgustingly gross. Look at that. They're naked. Full, full frontal. So weird. It's so weird. It's so weird. But they were naked in the cartoon too. Yeah, I know. First episode. Uh, but I can tell you, oh, this is the first printing of volume one, number one, published by blah 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 blah. It doesn't say anything a little. And then I think as a first printing, though. Yep, first printing. I would assume it is. Didn't say it, so that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Good book to have. I I'm trying to find a, a Voltron number one in uh, in high grade. I got a Voltron number one in high grade. I know you do. <laughs> Need to get it graded, but this is not. This probably would be like an eight point five at best. It's okay yeah. for that book. That's okay. Yeah, I don't care. Eighties books. I'm okay with that. It's when we get to the '90s books, like to me, it has to be like a nine, nine, six, nine, eight. You know. Agreed. Agreed. Um, what I know, did you you run? What would you run through? I ran through, but I'll, I'll show you a couple just because I know that we were talking, but we didn't talk. I got Dazzler number one. Oh, nice! I've seen that book too. I just packed yeah, I got it for five I didn't care. bucks. So I was like, you know what? It's a you know, mutant. I got uh, Amazing Spider-Man 109. That's something special. But then the other one I, I really liked was the Silver Surfer number one from 87. Oh, that's a nice cover, though. I know. That's right. That's why I picked a it really up. Really cool cover. I saw, it on the, I saw it on the wall, and I'm like, and then I picked up all these other ones, and I'm like, what are you going to do on that? What would you do on this one? Because he had it for like, I think he had it for 15. Mm -hmm. And he's like, oh, I'll, I'd, I'd do, you know, he's like, I'll, 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 you know, five, five more bucks and you get the rest. Because I got a bunch of, you know, over the last few weeks, kind of books that you know nothing special, like some of the amazing fantasy ones that we've talked about. Who is that? A, who, who, whose cover is that? You know what? I don't know who the artist. Like Bruce Tim. Him. I was gonna. I have to. I wanted to look. Oh, it up. I don't know who that is. I like that cover though. I mean, like the Captain America. I think you got this one, the Captain America one. So I do have that one. Yes, that's that was a good and one. Then another House of Slaughter, and I picked up the He Man that you got from last week. Oh, okay. So I mean, after I bought all these, he, he threw that one in for you know for five bucks too. So I was like, all right, oh, what's up? I'll take it. I'll take it. Can't go wrong with that. 
I didn't make it out today to the shop just because uh, it took me forever to get my booster. So, you know, oh, I, had okay. that, I had to get that booster. Really, You're really pushing that booster, aren't you? <laughs> pushing it. Pushing it. <laughs> hey, I don't care. I'm getting it. Uh, Everybody um, do, what you, do what you want. I'm doing it. So, um, so we went through some books. The only other book I want to talk about really on the, on the hot list well, I wanted to run through future keys real quick for next week, but yeah, you know I mean, yeah. if you want, you, I, I have it up. I can pull it up. Future keys. Oh, but let me let me. Yeah, I'll I finish it. up. I, I had it up too, but no worries. Okay, well, that's that's fine. I'll um, I'll just share this and uh, finish your screen. You sharing or I'm sharing? I'm sharing. I got right. it. Um, the other ones were already ones that were on the last week. I want to talk about again. Doctor Doom number the first appearance of Doctor Doom is on here number uh, number four on the hot ten. This is a huge book. If you could find this book in any grade, mm -hmm. in any grade, a one point is worth it for this book. That's that's the thing. These books, you know, you're, you're seeing a CGC nine eight selling for thirty five thousand dollars. You know, a PGX back in April sold for $54,000. PGX grading. We know what with PGX, they don't hold what CGC. So I'm definitely telling you, like, this book's all over the place on, on pricing. Yeah. Definitely, definitely try to find Dr. the first appearance of Dr. Newman because you know he's coming. And we're going to, we're going to, we're going to spend the next few weeks. I'm going to be looking up some other key Dr. Doom issues. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, for us to look into uh okay so sean you want to share because i'm not logged in and uh, i know you are so sure. you just wanted to talk about future keys for show sure, for show sure. hold up so share and whenever you want to bring it in there we go all right uh venom number one is coming out next week a little yeah i know i get i need to find this one and find the variants and there's some uh, good variants i want that variant that third one down is the one i like this one right here yeah i really i don't know what it is about that cover i like that cover huh i do not like that next cover which one the Clayton Great, the, uh, no, the one right above it. You just went above that. That one, the Romita one, the Stan uh, Sakai. Oh, the Stan Sakai one. Yeah, I just don't like it. Stan Sakai, though. I know, but I just don't like. I don't like that Venom. I don't know. This is where you're getting really like. This is the one of fifties and the one of twenty fives is the one you really want. You know, this one right here. I, mean, I don't like how he. Looks I don't like there. that either. Ugh, I don't like that. That's at why all. I don't want it. Like I don't care. I mean, like. When, when I'm getting a modern book, I'm going to get the cover A. Yeah. And then I'm going to look for a variant that I like. Yeah, I don't like the Peach Momoka one. Um, yeah, I didn't like her book here either. I like this. This one's actually really fucking cool, though. Actually, I might have to grab that one. I kind of like that. If I can grab that one, I'll put that on my... Uh, he, looks now, more, he, he looks more like an alligator in that one. Now, what I recommend, too, is for people... You know what I mean? If you're the first time you're listening to this is if, if you got a comic book store, you need to get on their pull list. So that way you can go on, uh, if they have Comic Hub or whatever they use to order your comics, that way sometimes you can get actually the some of the variants and stuff like that that you may want to look for. For sure. You know, I definitely tell everybody, I recommend that if you can. Um, but we all know that. The Thing uh, issue one is coming out as well. This is a variant cover. Oh, I like that cover a little. Pull that up closer. That is kind of cool. That's a cool cover. Yeah. Pretty cool cover. I don't know um, how I don't know how Pete is gonna feel about that him fighting a tiger. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, tiger, right? tiger King. Um, but this is the first appearance though, a little of uh Amaralis, I don't know, described as things in newfound love and the yeah, first Yeah, but you know what? Like the Yeah. Superhero love interests come and go. Yeah, Strange uh, Academy 13. Yeah. Origin of Zoe Lazu. That's another. Uh, that's another series to start finding. Like you know, Young Justice has gone. Uh, Young Justice, Young Avengers has gone through the roof. I think Strange Academy uh -huh. is prime for a Disney Plus show. Strange Academy bringing in all these characters. They've already done a version of that show with the Disney Descendants series, where you bring the kids of the villains into That'd the. Be cool. You know, yeah. I'm definitely telling you to pick that up. 
That Miles, though, with the pink background, that is a book I need to get. Already on pre-order. <laughs> I definitely ordered that one. I like that one. Um, uh, Deadpool, Black, White, and Blood, issue four. If you know, you're know you reading it, I'm not reading it, so I don't even know. I'm, what I, I don't. I, I'm, there's so many of those red, white, and black, red, white, and blood, red, white, and red. Yeah. Uh, another Venom number one, a little bit embosed. It's a nice cover, though. I gotta say, but it's a Rhode Island Comic Con exclusive. So if you're not in Rhode Island, you're not going to Rhode Island Comic Con, then you ain't getting it. Um, the Amazing Fantasy Two writer and artist is Kai, uh, Kai, Care Andrews. All right. Okay. Uh, Dark Hawk number three. That, huh? Did you collect that? You got Dark Hawk number one, the new Dark Hawk number one, right? I do. I have number one. Yeah. I don't know. Why. I haven't read it yet, though. Um, yeah, I'll go back. I'll go sometimes. I'll go back later on and go. Read I it. like this Peach Momoko Thanos cover, really. That's I like it because it's subtle with the Thanos's face there, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, it's not. I like yeah. when she takes up the whole the whole picture, right? You know, right. sometimes when it's just like the white background stuff, like, I'm not a big fan of it. Like, I like Alex Ross when he was doing a lot of those. Yeah, uh, those those pictures. I know Mia got the art print of the of Scarlet Witch from Alex Ross, but hmm. uh, and these Darkhold books. I don't know. I don't know what to think about these Darkhold books. I got Darkhold one. Did you get the Blade one? No, because I didn't go yeah, to the shop. Know. That came out today. Didn't yeah, it? I didn't. I I didn't. I was. Yeah. I kind of passed on it. I was like, eh. I do well, like this Hulk t one in two hundred because it's just because it's a purple sketch cover. I thought that's kind of cool. I kind of, I'm kind of digging this Art Adams one though. Kind of like how that looks, it's like a trading card. Yeah, that is a really cool one. It's a really cool cover. Might have to pick that one up. I think I got that on my pull list. Is that one? Sure. What is that? One in fifty or one in one fifty? It's one in one fifty. It's not bad. Yeah. Uh, a couple of Epic Tavern. I don't even know what that is. No idea. Pretty sure it looks fun though. Adaptation. Oh, damn. Old, Gregory just joined and said left the theater early screening of Eternals. Low sidekick. Ooh. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> I think we all predicted this would be probably Marvel's first uh first miss. Yep. Uh Dark Ages 3, Superman Son of Kal-El, Shang Chi's coming out, X-Men Legends, uh Joker. Uh, number nine, the Joker number nine. If you're not reading any of these books, then honestly, if you don't jump into them because you're going to be fucking lost as shit. If you're starting at number ones, like me and a little always probably say, always start with number one. If you want to think you're going to get into it, run through it, see what happens. But or wait for the trade. Yeah. At that point, they're going to come out and trade pretty soon. So, yeah, I'm not sure at any number ones here that I'm probably looking. I may get that Fantastic Four. Uh, Anniversary tribute book. Pull up that cover. Is that yeah, the Mole nice, Man cover? It's a nice is cover. That, is that the first? Uh, that's the reprint of the first cover. Yeah. Oh yeah, I, I like that. Also, if you're picking up image books, I want to tell you that they are not reprinting image books for second for second printing. Yeah. So if you want to get those first printings, you better get them now because they will not be doing second printing of other image books going forward. Uh, there's a paper shortage, so. You may not get as many second printings at all anymore, but you might want to kind of, if you're into certain comics, you might want to try to pick them up, put them on your pull list because definitely comic books want you to order them early. So that way they can get their issues in. And so is the comic book. Um, and you got to remember too, like uh, DC and Marvel, is it DC? I know Marvel left Diamond distribution. So everything's going through Penguin Publishing House. That's for Steve right there. Though. They suck. Oh my god, Steve. Eat Where's that one Steve? Up. Steve, are you on? Did you see that cover, Steve? <laughs> I know you're making. Uh, I know you're making some mac and cheese or some spaghetti or some shit. I couldn't remember what you said you're making, but you're making food. But yeah, it's a What's free up, issue Nate? To limited run. Pull up that Black Ooh. Panther number one cover. I want to. I want to see that. Oh, I got that. I got that one. I got that one on order, man. I need that. That was a nice Alex Ross cover. Oh my god. It's a wraparound cover. Yeah, that's a really nice cover. You, who do you got in there? You got Ghost Rider, you got Blade, you got Cap, you got Captain Marvel, you got Doctor Strange, She-Hulk, Thor. 
uh, Storm, of course. That was really nice. That's a poster. I was like, that would be a great poster to have. That is really, really cool. Mm -hmm. That is is pretty awesome. Yeah, I'm getting that. (laughs) Yeah, that That, that comes out next week, you said? Next week, right? This This is November 10th. Yes, this is next week. Uh, I'm thinking about a little getting a couple of these uh, the Marvel voices of the community anthology of stories yeah. celebrating Marvel's Latino characters. Agree, Alex Ross is unmatched. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I picked know. up, uh, I picked up, and that's the one I didn't show you this week. I, I love picked up the voices, the voices with the Asian uh grouping. Oh, you didn't show me that. Yeah, I didn't show you that. I mean, I showed it earlier, but I missed out on that. I don't know how I missed out on that. It's, you know what my my one my one shop, he keeps all like the back issues like in this section like mm-hmm. he, he like he like uh, if he doesn't sell them he'll bag and board them and just put them in there and still sell them for regular price. So if you want me to go back and look at it, uh, I can pick it up for you if I go back. Yeah, you go back. Just let me know. Um, but yeah, so I'll probably get a couple of these. I love this Roberto Ramos. I might I might just get that one. Well, you love Roberto gotcha. Ramos. But that's about it I for it. Um, that's about it for next week's issues. But you know, I mean, again, if you see them in the comics, pick them up. You know, yeah, and hit those hit those dollar bins. You're gonna find some some good books that you don't think are good. It's a dollar investment. Right. And you never know what's gonna pop. That, that's what I'm looking at. Like I'm looking at. I'm using this key collector app. I mean, hell, if you don't want to pay for it, you can message me, you can message us, ask us if we know anything about the books. If you're at a comic shop, else, yes, I, a lot of you out there are, are messaging me already saying, hey, is this a good deal on a book? And, uh, you know, I'm responding right away. You know, you've done that with toys with me. You've done that with comics. I, I'll respond as quickly as I see it. I mean, it might not be 100% as quickly as you'd hope, but I'll do my best to respond. So if you're looking at comics and you're and you're curious if it's a good price, I mean, I still regret, Sean, having you not pull the trigger on Avengers number 11. With the I, know. Spider-Man. I know. I know. Some it's going, you know it's going now. I know. I know there's some creases on it, but... It was bad, though. It had like, all kind of shit on it. I don't it. care anymore. You know what I mean? Like, all those books... Any twelve cent book, I don't care the condition anymore. That's it. That's my that's my new motto. I'm gonna buy it if if it, if it's if I'm comfortable with paying the price for it, I'm gonna buy it. That that's my book. If I see a twelve cent marking on it, I'm going to pay the price on it because like I just want those books. Those books are that's the art style that I grew up buying t shirts and stickers and all that kind of stuff in. You know, I know we got into later books and you know, but like. The Ditko poster was in my room, you know, as a kid. The, um, you know, all that stuff, all, all the all the Kirby artwork, all that kind of stuff was there. And like that's the stuff, you know. Even for my own collection, I would rather just have and hold on to, even if it's in shitty condition. Okay. Right. So that that that's my new motto with that. So. All right, well, that's. I mean, I know you started earlier than I did. I apologize for being late. I lost track of time. Sorry, that's all right. Did that's not realize right. I had a fun time. Job. I wanted to see if I could actually roll by myself for a bit, and it was it was okay. It was a we- it was weird talking to myself, but I mean, everybody does it on YouTube. Why not? Just, I, why know. You I wasn't used to it, and uh, but was people were responding, right? They were. They were. Had a lot of a lot of people talking. It was fun. Steve was making fun of us. Thank you, Steve. That, they, saying that we couldn't afford to do so. <laughs> uh, but thank you guys for listening. We do appreciate it. We hope you guys are enjoying this content. Yes. Uh, something and- that Sean and I, you know, I don't know what happened. One day I started picking up comic books. Sean's like, I have a bunch of comic books, but I want to pick up new comic books. And then all of a sudden we just started doing this. You know, it's just we, we find new hobbies to get into because um, we get bored with some of the old ones, you know, we, you know, we started figure collecting. We're, we're kind of out of that. We're just going for the big statues now. Yeah. Can't wait for my black, my symbiote Spider-Man to come in. Um, yeah, I got my, uh, fi- I finally got the damn thing for the Leonardo. So he should be coming in next week. Nice. Nice. Finally, I got my Gundams coming in. I can't wait to share those with everybody. <laughs> so, um, so we'll be sharing a lot more stuff on the show's, 
join us on Saturday nights if you can for um, you know just some geek chat. Watch some trailers with us. Let us know what you think. I mean, this week we'll be watching a whole bunch of trailers. We got a Morbius trailer. We got a Hawkeye trailer. There's a whole bunch of other trailers. So uh, you know, definitely, definitely enjoy it. Nate, thanks. Yeah, he's loving the live shows. We appreciate it. Um, I mean, well, I guess we're doing it. <laughs> yeah, well, we're gonna keep going. And that happened. Did he drop off? I have no idea what happened to him. <laughs> so, so I guess we're doing a live show. And I guess I'm by myself now. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what happened. Like, I, don't know what happened. I, I don't know. Still learning this new system. But hey, thank you for joining us all. And that's it for tonight. So this is Alil. And this is Sean. And until next time, keep it geeky.